Do 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 do. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. This is NWA Weekly. Oh yes, it is. Oh surely hell, it is. It's that time of week again where we begin again. And everybody, it's now Christmas season, so you better be eating loads of chocolate. Because we are. Oh, hold on a minute. We yes, we're on episode six today of NWA Weekly. It, this is going out, even though it's only the 9th of November now, so I can't really be getting in the Christmas spirit. But knowing this goes out on the 3rd of December, I'm sure I can get really excited and go, It's Christmas season! For God's sakes, the Christmas adverts already come out. We've seen Kevin Carrot be kidnapped by some Brussels sprouts because they weren't happy that he's took over Christmas. And God knows what's going on with Aldi this year. <laughs> then we've got a really weird Christmas advert from Marcus Spencer where they just talk about the food. Then we've got the singing boxes, and then we've got the pink gifts. I haven't seen the Coca-Cola chalks yet, which is really pissing me off, but we'll get there. But anyway, should we get on with the show? I probably would have seen them. By the time you watch this, I'll probably be in the next week, next week going, I've seen the trunks, guys! Christmas is coming! Christmas! Anyway, I don't want to get done for copyright or something. And the missus is going to sleep next to me like she did the other night, and then she's just sat there giggling at the moment because of the opening of the video. But I've realised these videos are quite short, so I'm going to get away with it. Right, during the off-season of this, I have found out that... We're not based in the southeast. We're based in the southwest, and there is a GPB Studios F which holds 500 people, which we own. So fuck it, the shows are going to happen there because that's where they happen in real life. All big events like NWA Live and NWA Into the Fire and Pavies will not happen, but all TV tapings will happen at GPB Studios F. Awesome. Now I've co now I've covered some um, important business. So that's where this is, obviously. But in a preach about that sub in a little heat, the Wildcats defeat the Ugly Ducklings in 10-28 when Royce Isaac defeat Lance Lude. Yeah, Lance Lude by Pinfall. Thomas Latt McCoy match in terms of ring look. Rob Killjoy 29, Lance Lude 33, Royce Isaac 37, Thomas Latmer 48, Noah Grizz 41D. In a pre-show about in a poor preacher match, Ashley Lane, aka Madison Rain, defeated Talon Dashwood in 807 by Pinfall the Raindrop. Talon Dashwood 42, Ashley Lane 38, Noah Grizz 41D. <clears throat> and then we got a in a decent preacher match, Eddie Edwards, Rob Terry, and David Boy Smith Jr. defeated Barry Griffiths, Aaron Stevens, Sammy Cannon, and then 49 when Eddie Edwards defeated Barry Griffiths by Pendle Four Long Blower. Uh, David Boy Smith 48, Rob Terry 30, Eddie Edwards 56, Callahan 58, Aaron Stevens 59, Barry Griffiths, Griffiths in 40, Barry Griffiths in performance, and Rob Terry in performance. Lovely drubbly stuff with a 57C minus. And then we open up the night with Joe, Joe Gallagher, or Gala. Um, we are, we are going to get rid of him in a little bit. Back to the announced desk where he belongs. <laughs> so this past week was NWA Live. And the NWA would not let me face Colt in action. Yet they let Rhino face Nick for the NWA title. Now Colt, as you're, as you're the Heritage Champion, you're the number one Why don't you face Nick Holdis? And then you don't have to see me put, your, put my boot down your throat with my last call. And then Colt comes out to some cheers, hooray! And all you stand is having a celebration in the front row. That's, I think that's the greatest thing about NWA on YouTube is watching his orange Santa in the front row. <laughs> that's what everyone's calling him. Anyway, Colt, look, I come out here tonight in this studio. Why? Because you're boring the fans. We are a long way off that match. Why, why, why won't I face Nick? I lose this belt because I want to kick your ass again. You see, James, you can scare people with your words, but remember, I have met you too many times. How about tonight I team with Rhino and you team with Nick? And in the main event, if I win, you wait until the fire. If your team wins, you get your match next week. And Joe goes, well, James, just nodded in agreement. Because you guys can't see that because it's not a video. Agreement that's tonight's main event, and this is huge. Let's send it to the ring for some action. A 44D to open up the night. Beautiful angle. 500p. We are sold out of the GPB Studios F, which is great. And then in an extremely short match, Matt Seidel defeat Caleb Conley in 5-8 by Pinnacle Shooting Star Press. Caleb Conley in 38, Matt Seidel 46, 44D. In a decent match, the Briscoes defeat Santana and Ortiz in 8-16 when Jay Briscoe defeat Ortiz by Pinnacle Double and Pile Driver. Mark Briscoe 60, Jay Briscoe 58, Santana 42, Ortiz 44. Uh, no occurrence 55C minus. And then we got um, Cruz, Cruz Freeze. He's the only one from our local area that's actually... Um, announcer that we can actually hire, so he's going to be doing the interviews from that nice little desk here from now on. Hey, Cruz, look around. Once again, we won a match. We won the match this past week against the Ugly Ducklings. Now the wild cards want to make noise and think we're not competition. Mark goes, you see, 
You're only te you're the only team to beat us. So this is how it goes. We want our match with you soon. Not into the fight in the next two weeks. Balls count anywhere. Now, NWA Power next week will be live. And it's going to be Falls Count Anywhere. And it has been added to the show next week, guys. You can look forward to this. Um, well, you could if I could actually pick that match. Um, why isn't there a 2v2 tag team match? Unless it's in... Ew, I haven't clicked this button yet. That's probably why. Let's save that. And let's see if it comes up now. It's got to be in here because... Um, it is in here. Right, I'm going to go and deal with that later. Um, but yes, you will get to see that next week in your main event. I'll book it in later on because... There's no Forbes Count Anywhere match for tag teams in this database, so I'm going to have to import some from another database. And the missus sat there over there giggling when she went to go to sleep. She sleeps through everything, including the thunderstorms, so don't worry about me recording. In a decent match, Ryan Reavers defeated Brian Cage in 7-12 by filming the Suplex Power Slam. Ryan Reavers, 47, Brian Cage, 62. Cage improving in form, 58C-. And in Cruiser's like joining me now, the man facing Nick Aldis at Into the Fire, Rhino. Look, uh, this past week at uh, this past week at NWA Live, I had a shot and nearly beat him. Now he was lucky to get out to get out with his life that night. And into the fight will not be the same. Will not, it will not be the same. It's going to be me coming out with the win and the five pounds of gold. Or is it the ten? Oh yeah, seven pounds gold. What the hell am I on about? Fifty-four C minus. Lovely promo from Rhino. He's in the main event tonight. In a bout that had little heat and embarrassing wrestling. <laughs> Great. Embarrassing wrestling. <laughs> How is wrestling embarrassing, guys? Ashley Fox defeated Marty Bow in 440 by putting a fish on a hook. Uh, Marty Bow 16, Alicia Fox 22. These two have pretty good chemistry, which helped the match, but they were shit in the ring because they got a 21 E. Oh dear. I think it's a bad idea to have Marty Bow taken in the match, which is being called. Why was this a call in the ring match? Anyway, let's. Let's overlook that. That's probably why that went terribly wrong in South. The video plays open up your main event tonight is Cabana and Rhino will take on Aldis and James Storm. In a this match, Cole Cabana and Rhino defeat Nick Aldis and James Storm in 1952 when Rhino defeat James Storm by Pimple of Gore. James Storm carried the match to his ring for Rhino 49, G. Cole Cabana 52, James Storm 63, Nick Aldis 50, Noah Cruz 58C minus. James Storm is now going to be really pissed off. Because he's not going to get his match next week. So we'll see what he's got to say next week. And then we're also going to have in the decent post show match Moose defeat Eli Drake in 1457 by Pimble the Game Breaker. Eli Drake 53, Moose 44. He's improving in form as Moose. That's where we end tonight's episode. I hope you enjoyed episode number 6. 55C minus, increased our popularity in 25 regions. I want to thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next week from the GP Studios. I think it's F in it. <laughs> or G yeah, GPB Studios F. It's been a longer video than normal because it's been eight minutes. I've been rabbiting. Blazer, and we'll see you here again at eight o'clock for Impact Wrestling. Thank you for watching, guys. We'll see you next week for NW Weekly at eight o'clock for Impact Wrestling.